Hi, it's Anfa from AnfaMuse.com and today I want to show you how to make a evil, bubbling, dark, gargle stuff sound in Helm. And the reason I picked Helm is because it has very flexible modulation possibilities using multiple LFOs and step sequencer and envelopes. So I think this is, if you don't know Helm already, um, it, you might want to check it out after this tutorial. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna need a single source, just one oscillator. Okay, let me just disable some stuff. So we don't need your reverb yet. Okay, and the voices. Okay, this is a little bit stupid because I to reset it all right so here we have a basic patch making a simple sine wave what we're gonna do now is first transpose the sine wave even lower even lower yeah, it, it has to be almost inaudible. It has to be so low that we can barely hear it. Now what we want to do is we want to cross modulate this sine wave. Oh, now we can't hear it without modulation. Cross modulate it with the another sine wave, which has to be pretty low too. It should be like, the best results are where the, they have different pitches, like they are not tuned to the same frequency. Now I'm going to use an LFO, mono LFO 1, to modulate the pitches of these. LFO 2, modulate them even further. So now we have some motion. to speed up the LFOs a bit. Now I'm changing the way they work to Hertz so we are tempo independent. I'm also gonna like decrease a little bit of the influence it has because this is a little bit too rapid. Okay, it's here. That's pretty nice. You can also modulate with the third poly LFO, kind of the amount of modulation that the second oscillator is doing on the first. And because we turn down the second one on the mixer, you can only hear the one, the first one. Now, when the modulation goes too high, we can hear those very high pitched quirks coming in. We don't want that because it kind of breaks the sound we're making. So I'm going to decrease the modulation amount of this LFO and back it out the basic value a little bit. All right, I'm gonna change this tempo. Not pretty good. This one is moving too fast. I'll make this one too slow. All righty. <laughs> Now, let's come to the filter. We're gonna use a bandpass filter, a very sharp one, like with the maximum resonance. And you can hear when I'm changing notes, it has this nice clicking resonance property. And that happens only because our envelope is pretty steep. It's too sharp. But our oscillator one modulated this way, it produces such a sonic material that it very nicely comes out after this filter. So now I'm gonna use the LFOs 
modulate the frequency of the filler so it moves along and a little bit of the resonance too so we have some more motion this is kind of nice but well it's too monotonous monotonous i'm gonna actually decrease the lfo uh, modulation amount and i'm gonna use a step step sequencer it's gonna increase the number of steps to maximum and i'm gonna draw some pretty random looking pattern like that i'm gonna change the frequency to hertz and we want this pretty slow I'm gonna enable the slide a bit so it's not jumping between these values but interpolating so it's behaving kind of like a LFO uh, that's like doing random random patterns but not sample and hold but sample and slide kind of that okay and now I'm gonna assign the steep sequencer value as a modulation to this filter envelope so this filter cutoff and you can see it's moving I'll try to modulate this more try to bump up the frequency. Okay, I think this is frequency of the iteration. It's not like for the whole thing. It's just for one, how many steps per, per second. If we decrease the slide, you can see that it's jumping. And we actually want this pretty fast. This is kind of bubbling we are up to but this is a little bit too sharp so I'm going to dial in just a notch tiny amount of steps moving you can see the value up here when I move the fader what we can do also is that the modulators can modulate themselves or other modulators so we can like use the steep sequencer to modulate the amount of the LFO now we can make this LFO less like kind of it's kind of side chaining the LFOs with the step sequencer or we can do this with one LFO and against another uh, and this one against this one What we want to do is get some unpredictable, interesting patterns. Oh, we can use sample and glide for a poly LFO, and it's gonna like create even more randomness. Let's try a little bit of saturation. Mm, it's too loud now. Okay. No, let's better keep it clean. Okay, I think the LFOs are too harshly influencing the frequency of our oscillators. And that creates some motion we don't desire. However, let's try to tune up the frequencies. Let's see what can we get.
Okay, I think we need more resonance. Yeah, it's kind of bubbling. Let's try resonance all the way up. Let's tune the frequency down a little bit. Okay, what I would do is also pass it through a hypers filter. So, like, we get rid of the lowest, lowest frequencies we get here. Because we don't really want that. It's creating buzzing that we don't not want. And since Helm doesn't feature another filter on its own, or an EQ section, need to do this on our own like using another plugin let's try to a little bit spice up the sound with just a tiny bit of dark reverb this is why I increased the dampening if you increase it all the way up there's no reverb whatsoever If you play this instrument in extremely low octaves, it produces some interesting bubbling sounds. And this, is, this isn't particularly useful in this raw form, but if you compress it, filter it a bit, EQ it, you can really use it. You can increase the attack and release of the envelope. Actually, the release is pretty, pretty slow. Can increase the voices so we can like have polyphonic bubbling. All right, you get the idea. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and subscribe if you want more. Bye!